Hello friends, once again welcome to BISPSolutions.com My name is Amit and today I am going to demonstrate how to create financial performance report directly on your source data. So this is a series of videos which we have been working on to create CFO dashboard. This is part number 3. Let me show you where what we need to prepare today. So this is the financial performance report which my business like to see. Okay, and it has got multiple elements. You see it consists of profit or statement, profit and loss statement. It has a balance sheet elements. It has a summary report for revenue, gross margin, total income, net, mar net profit margin and so on. So CFO would like to see this information as part of their month and activity. Okay. So I'm going to create the same report and I got the raw data from my business. And I'm going to prepare my report on top of this. So my functional user have prepared this Excel sheet, which your functional users are often so comfortable working in Excel sheet. They extracted this data from Oracle Hypin Financial Management, and they wanted me to prepare a report on top of this. They use this report internally. Uh, however, in order to display this report in a chart and pivot, and in order to distribute report. To the internal management team, this report has to be prepared in a tableau. So the way the information given to us, I cannot use it directly to prepare my reports. Therefore, it is good idea to massage your data, normalize your data in a way that you can directly prepare a report on top of this in tableau. Although you can use the same data as well, but it took a lot of data massaging and a lot of complexity involved into clearing this data. So the best way to convert this data into tableau format is to identify your dimension and facts. Look at your data and convert this information in terms of dimension and facts. So when I look at this income statement, I find over here, I've got financial elements like different kind of revenues, expenses and so on. I've got year 2014 and 15. And then I got a major intersection of your revenues and year is your major. So the information presented in Excel is a cross tabular view. However, we prefer the data in terms of tabular view. So I convert this data. I did little transformation part of this and create one column for each dimension and finally one column for major. So if you look at this, I have got data for year and then I made a parent child. The idea behind creating a parent child member because in this source data if you look at this it's a kind of parent child relationship i've got revenues their type of revenue and expenses type of expenses i would like to give a facility to my users so that they can create an hierarchy on their own they can drill down look at detailed expenses and detailed revenue as well so keeping this requirement in mind i prepared data in this format so i got year parent and child i given a general term parent and child though you can give any term you like to see and finally i've got majors so what do you do step first you log into your work to your tableau connect data so this is my excel data this is my excel income statement example the one which i shown you in excel sheet i'm going to bring it into my source system and name it like financial data and you look at this the information has been extracted and the label is f1 f2 f3 f4 and the data type is also extracted recognized by your tableau. The first thing I'm going to do it if I have some junk data and I'm going to hide them, rename all the column. First one is year and the data type is string. If it is string ABC, it is considered as a dimension, right? Actually, year is a dimension itself. If you convert this to major, system will start adding apply aggregation rule on top of this, which is going to be wrong. And this one is I call this as a financial element parent parent and financial element child you can give your user friendly name a right click rename financial element child and last one is your data therefore it's a hash which represents your number you rename it you call this data right so I got year, financial element, parent, child and data. I'm going to ready with this and build a report on top of this. You may have a lot of junk data in this, which when you deal with while we are creating filters. Okay. So 
let's see this how it look like I've got financial element parent and I got financial element child sorry financial and parent and child I like to bring a first I like to bring a hierarchy on top of this okay so what I'm going to do it's a fairly simple just drag and drop your child under your parent is become a hierarchy I call this financial hierarchy call this financial hierarchy where you see parent and child had you select parent overhead would have automate turns out to plus symbol which allow you to further drill down to parent and child but my parent record have got some null, null data like null and parent I'm going to check them uncheck them and filter them out so now I have got financial element parent and child this is what exactly I wanted I got data as well so I got financial element parent and financial element child right this is my total expenses total revenue isn't it you can in turn add a subtotal as well go to total section add subtotal so there you get subtotal of expense and revenue I would like to see the same with respect to multiple years so this is year is your another dimension 2014 2015 right this is fine but what we need we need a gross margin which is subtraction of both of them total expense margin total revenue so in order to find the gross margin I need to create a calculative measure also my data is one it doesn't differentiate between expense and revenue so I'm going to create a calculative measure on top of this on top of my measure right click and create calculative measure so first is going to be expenses I'm going to differentiate my measure as expense and revenue so I call this if my financial element parent equals to expenses then call this as expense right call this expense if financial element parent is expense similarly I create another measure on top of this create calculative field name it if financial element is revenue call it as revenue So I got pretty nice two measures expense and revenue <laughs> right I can replace this financial elements data with expense <coughs> and revenue expense and revenue now I need to find out difference between both of them um, let me do it other way around expense and revenue okay I like to find out difference between both of them as margin so margin is simply a sum of subtraction of expense minus revenue total expense minus total revenue okay. I'm going to create a major on top of this once again create calculated fill now your name is gross margin so sum of your expenses minus sum of your revenue gross margin right? this is what you wanted now when you place a gross margin over here this is what you find you don't see the gross margin I'm going to add it as a major under gross margin it's not visible so I'm going to apply one trick to make it visible first I remove financial element from here um, it seems I've got duplicate main members appearing twice I'm going to make it simple let's make it once again I'm going to eat, add a year over here year and going to add expenses revenue and gross margin right this is exactly what we wanted expense revenue gross margin but I want with respect to different years and I want a label over here as well okay so the moment I add a member financial parent the gross margin disappears also I like to put a filter over here remove null and parent the gross margin disappears so what you can do you can toggle to your chart 
and back to your table right so what do we need to do it we need to remove the financial element let's display only majors i could see expense revenue and gross margin this is what we wanted okay right this is what we wanted finally we got it so it's a cross table view you could also create a chart on top of this in addition to this i'm going to create a chart which talk about my and across different year you know i like to see my expenses and plot my chart on expenses first here is label is also coming in here so i'm going to have uncheck this year label so you can turn it to vertical and horizontal by toggling between rows and column mm. add a year over here year over year the total expenses in addition to expenses i also like to display revenue i'm going to add a revenue over here right so it's a combination of expense and revenue you can display this as your you know bar chart i could see expense and revenue for year 2015 2014 expense and revenue okay. you can change the type of them as well one is going to bar chart another one is going to be oval that that makes sense display the label as well to ensure what is your expenses expense value and what is your revenue sorry revenue right you can create a more sophisticated advanced chart and talk about expense revenue and difference between both of them stack chart which talk about your expense year over year expense revenue and gross margin take a year over here take expenses take revenue plot is a chart right they are displaying two different label swap them display them as single label on a single axis the different in separate axis so first also remove label year as label here remove year as label so revenue i'm going to display under one axis remove remove your expenses from here and put over the second axis right display them as so both of them are displaying chart okay. in addition to this you can display them in a single axis as well dual access chart single access chart this is your expenses put it your revenue so this is you can create a cluster chart expenses revenue for 2014-2015 right so that's it for today in the next video i'm going to show you how to create next part of this dashboard how do you prepare your balance sheet report and remaining part of my uh, monthly performance report subscribe to our channel bispsolutions.com and we BISP is subject matter exposed for data visualization for across all domain. We are specialized to financial data analytics as well. Thanks for watching today's video. Should you have any question, please write to us.